Good morning, Grade 4. Welcome to our English class. My name is Teacher Celeste. Our lesson for today is all about distinguishing general and specific statements. Third quarter, week 3. Milk, content, distinguishing between general and specific statements. In our previous lesson, you learned how to write directions using signal words. This time, you will learn about general and specific statements. Are you ready? Wow! Let's begin! For the introduction, when we say general statements, general statements are commonly the topic sentence of a paragraph. It tells us what the passage is mostly about. General statements cover a broad group of ideas and it needs supporting statements in order to fully understand it. Well, specific statements, on the other hand, are the supporting statements for the topic sentence. It provides definite information to support the topic sentence. I have here an example of a passage. I will going to read the passage first, then later on, we will going to analyze what the passage is all about. There are many habits that we can do in order to keep our body safe from various diseases. Washing our hands regularly keeps the germs and the bad bacteria from spoiling the food that we eat. Eating colorful fruits and leafy greens boosts our immune system. Exercising regularly strengthens our bones and muscles. Doing these activities frequently keeps our body strong and healthy and away from various kinds of diseases. Now, let's analyze what is the passage all about. You're right! The passage is all about the many habits that we can do in order to keep our bodies safe from various diseases. And what are the habits that we can do to keep our bodies safe from various diseases? First, washing our hands regularly keeps the germs and the bad bacteria from spoiling the food that we eat. Second, eating colorful fruits and leafy greens boosts our immune system. And the third one, exercising regularly strengthens our bones and muscles. The first sentence in the paragraph is the general statement. The succeeding sentences, which enumerates the habits that one can do to keep the body safe from various diseases, are the specific statements. These specific statements provide further information about the first sentence in the paragraph. In a paragraph, you can distinguish between the general statement and the specific sentence based on how the passage is written. Most often, the general statement or the topic sentence is written at the beginning of a paragraph. The succeeding sentences are the specific statements which tell more information about the general statement. Let us now distinguish the general statement and specific statements in the passage presented earlier using the graphic organizer below. Do you know what a graphic organizer is? I will show it to you. This one is an example of a graphic organizer. General statement. There are many habits that we can do in order to keep our body safe from various diseases. Specific statement number one, washing our hands regularly keeps the germs and the bad bacteria from spoiling the food that we eat. Specific statement number two, eating colorful fruits and leafy greens boosts our immune system. Specific statement number three, exercising regularly strengthens our bones and muscles. 
For the development, learning task number one. Directions, you will going to analyze the sentence below and identify the general statement and the specific statement. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You will going to write letter A for general statement and letter B for specific statement. Number 1. Lukban, Quezon is considered as the summer capital of Quezon province because of its cool and gentle breeze even during the summer months of April and May. Again, Lukban, Quezon is considered as the summer capital of Quezon province because of its cool and gentle breeze during the summer months of April and May. Write A for general statement and B for a specific statement. Next, number 2. Our hometown is rich in historical landmarks. Again, our hometown is rich in historical landmarks. Write A for a general statement and B for a specific statement. Next, number 3. There are many delicacies in our town which the tourists love very much. Write A for general statement and B for specific statement. Are you done? Okay, let's move on to number 4. Since pineapples grow all year long in Tagaytay City, the people celebrate the Pilipiniahan Summer Festival during May to promote their most appealing agricultural product. Write A for general statement and B for specific statement. Next, number 5. Being hailed as the native goodies capital of the Philippines, one will find various kakanin finds in every corner of the town of Cainta, Rizal. Write A for a general statement and B for a specific statement. For learning task number 2, directions, read the passage below and distinguish the general statement and the specific statements by completing the outline that I will going to present later. Our region is rich in cultural heritage. Cavite, being known as the land of the brave, is home for a large number of national heroes. Laguna is known for its rich cuisine, woodcrafts, and embroidery. Batangas is well remembered for the aromatic Kaping Barako and its beautiful beach destinations. Rizal has art galleries and delectable delicacies. The province of Quezon has its colorful and fun festivals as well as various coconut byproducts. Now, you will going to complete the outline below based on the passage that I have read earlier. A. General statement for number 1 and for letter B. Specific statements numbers 2 to number 5. For learning task number 3, we have here two columns. One is for the general statement and the other one is for specific statement. Directions you have to categorize the following statements as to whether it is a general or specific statement. Write it in its proper column. Are you ready now? Okay, let's go to number one. Our province is known for its coconut plantations and rice farms. Is it general statement? or a specific statement. 
write it in its appropriate or correct column. Next, number two. Lukban longanisa is a pork sausage originated in Lukban, Quezon that has a distinctive taste of garlic and oregano. Is it general statement or specific statement? Okay, next, number three. Buko pie, a Filipino-style coconut pie made of fresh and creamy coconut filling wrapped in flaky crust, is a favorite pasalubong item commonly bought from the province of Laguna. Is it general statement or specific statement? Let's go now to number 4. The only fresh water sardine is found in the Philippines. Is it general statement or specific statement? Okay, next, number 5. Cavite is known for a large number of national heroes. Is it general statement? or a specific statement? Complete your answers now. Good luck! Learning task number 4 Sardinelia tawilis is a freshwater sardine found only in the Philippines. It is the only member of the genus Sardinelia known to exist entirely in fresh water. In the local language, they are known in Filipino as tawilis. Sardinelia tawilis is a small fish reaching up to 15 cm and weighing less than 30 grams. They have a single, triangular dorsal fin and a forked caudal fin. They possess long, slender gill rockers in their mouths. Complete the graphic organizer below. One general statement and four specific statements. For the assimilation, learning task number five. I have here another example of a passage. The coconut palm tree is called tree of life for its versatility and numerous uses. The different parts of a tree can be used to provide for the human life. The coconut meat can be ground and mixed with water to make coconut milk which is used in cooking. Other than the coconut kernel and the drink that we can get from green nuts, the harvested coconut also produces copra from which coconut oil is extracted. The cococoir from the dry husk is used in producing ropes, mats, baskets, brushes, and brooms. Let's answer now this. A. General Statement Which one is the general statement? Letter B. We are going to write down all the specific statements. For assessment, directions, analyze each sentence below and distinguish if it is a general statement or a specific statement. Write GS if the sentence is a general statement and SS if the sentence is a specific sentence. Number 1. A healthy diet must be a habit for children. GS or SS. Next, number two. Eating nutritious food, drinking enough water, and maintaining strong bones and muscles by exercising are habits that keep us from getting sick. GS or SS. Okay, next, number three. Physical activities like invasion games boost children's speed and agility. 
GS or SS. Next, number four. Playing games has a lot of benefits to children. GS or SS. And last, number five. Playing allows the children to exercise their creativity, develop their imagination, and learn new things. GS or SS. And for the reflection, in your notebook, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that blank I realize that blank and I need to learn more about blank Thank you and credit to the lip owner Thank you guys for watching Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Bye-bye!